Hello YouTube and YouTubettes. Welcome to our rankings, our final rankings of the Marx Brothers movies of each and every one of them. And also our, uh, yeah, so we'll individually rank them and then give our total scores for each movie combined. Uh, and this should be fun. But before we do that, I would like to play a song from YouTube by Floella Grace, a cover of everyone says I love you and so check out her channel I'll leave a link below and uh, support her music and uh, or support <laughs> her, her channel uh, so um, yeah I, I don't want to just play it without giving credit to it so yeah this is played by Floella Grace and you'll be able to see some my favorite pictures in the background of the Marx Brothers YouTube and YouTubettes, we have finally gone through every single Marx Brothers movie and what I thought would be fun here is that we would rank our Marx Brothers scores individually going from last to best and then we will add each movie 
like her score plus my score on one of the movies together and rank them and see what comes out that way and what they rank that way. So, <laughs> why a four-year-old child could understand this report? Run out and find me a four-year-old child. I can't make a head or tail out of it. This will be kind of fun. So, I'm Robbo, and I'm Becco. All right. So, number thirteen. So number 13 for me is a tie. However, uh, one of them was the first one that we watched and I scored it really, uh, really strictly. And so I definitely will will consider that being um, not last place <laughs> because I definitely think that it's way better than the one that I gave the exact same score. So I'm going to say that my number 13 is room service. And my number 13 is also room service. Well, I've never been so insulted in my life. Well, it's early yet. Number 12. So my number 12 is coconuts. And as I mentioned, it has the exact same score as room service. But we were discussing that because that was the first one. I was kind of grading it based on, I was grading it against every movie ever made, ever ever made, rather than grading it just a, in its category of Marx Brothers movies. Yeah, and I think I noticed in some cases I look at these scores and I'm like, I don't, I thought, you know, this wasn't as good or this was much better than what I have scored, but it's kind of the mood that we're in when we're watching it too is is part of it. But my number twelve is Hotel Casablanca. What do you eat before you go to bed? Number 11. Surprisingly, my number 11 is Horse Feathers. And of course, when we re-watched it, it didn't seem as good as when we watched it as kids. But I still think Horse Feathers has a special place in my heart and it has some really good moments in it. It has like one of the best Marx Brothers songs in it. And so it's um, it's hard to see that so low on the list, but that's the score I gave it. So. And my number eleven is Love Happy. Who's responsible for this? Is this your picture? I don't think so. It doesn't look like me. I'll take it out of here immediately and hang it up in my bedroom. Number ten. I have as number ten is Love Happy. And my number ten is Coconuts. Uh, you know, this is, as far as the early movies, it's probably the least, but um, I, I think it's a very enjoyable film, so um, it's one of those, whenever I watch it, I, I enjoy it. If you weren't smaller than me, I'd flog the daylights out of it, but I'm bigger than you. Well, that's another reason. Number nine. My number nine is Night in Casablanca. My number nine is The Big Store. I thought this cigar was in my other suit. I wish you were in your other suit, and your other suit was being pressed. No mangled. Number eight. So my number eight is Big Store. So we're, we're not too far off with that. That one kind of had some special things in it for me for some reason, too, even though the quality of it wasn't that great. So it probably bumped it up a little more in memorableness um, than, say, you know, some of the... the other ones like Love Happy doesn't doesn't stick with me like that one did. And my number eight was Horse Feathers, and I definitely thought going into it that this would be near the top. But like you, for some reason, maybe it was the mood that we're in, or maybe when we were younger, our sense of humor was different. <laughs> and a lot of it seemed funnier to us then, and as we get older, maybe it doesn't stick out. But yeah, my number eight is Horse Feathers. That's, that's what they call a sanity clause. <laughs> you can't fool me. There ain't no sanity clause. Number seven. I have as number seven, Animal Crackers. Wow. My number seven is also Animal Crackers. There's no need of you reading that because these are duplicates. Yes, duplicates. Duplicates. I say they're, they're duplicates. Oh, sure, it's a duplicate. Don't you know what duplicates are? Sure, there's five kids up in Canada. Number six. Go West. And I, I, I kind of feel like comparing it now to others, 
I don't know, it's hard to say. Go West also stands out just because it's unique. It's in a different setting than some of the other ones, so sometimes it sticks in your memory longer because of it it doesn't blend in. Sometimes the movies blend in because of the similar settings, but that one kind of stands out, but um, that's my number six. And my number six is Monkey Business, and it's kind of weird because just off the top of my head it's probably one of the best movies they did but for some reason it's my sixth best score that reminds me i must get my watch fixed number five my number five is monkey business so again like i think we're close in some of these um that one i think we watched a lot as kids and so the jokes still I think they affected our sense of humor in a way because we watched it so young. So that one kind of has some, uh, I guess, special specialness to it. My number five, it looks like our five and six are swapped. My number five is Go West. And uh, some of these later ones grew on me later on. He's had a change of heart. A lot of good that'll do him. He's still got the same face. Number four. I have a day at the races and it's funny because I never remember that one very much. I can't picture it. I can't really remember <laughs> remember it, but it must have been good. <laughs> it, even now, like we kind of watched it semi recently. It wasn't, I think too, it wasn't one we watched a lot as kids, but I do remember seeing it as a kid, but we didn't own it. So we didn't watch it over and over and over. But it must have been good, but it somehow it's not memorable. My number four is Duck Soup. At one point, you know, I think this is the one we watched the most as a kid. Uh, we had three on VHS, and this was one of them, and I think it was my favorite of those three. Um, but I think um, it's kind of declined, maybe because I watched it too much, and it's not as high on my list, so none of the comedy takes me by surprise anymore, and so, uh, but I still think it's one of their best. We fool you good, eh? Number three. So my number three is Duck Soup, and the thing is, if I, if I think about iconic Marx Brothers, and a perfect plot storyline and just the silliness of it it to me that is if if you want to introduce somebody to the marx brothers that's where you go first so in many ways it's my favorite marx brothers movie as far as like iconically marx brothers i feel like it's so well written in the way that it flows and it's so consistently in the in the zone of Marx Brothers it never tries to be realistic you know it never tries it it it, it has its own little world and it doesn't try to be in a, a normal everyday world so um, yeah it's it's in third place but it's still I think the best iconically Marx Brothers movie yeah, and I forgot to mention that it's very Monty Python-ish. Or, I mean, I think it's the movie that Monty Python probably was most inspired by. Um, my number three is A Night at the Opera. And it's probably, I don't know why, I would definitely say quality-wise it's up the best, but I think the comedy is not as high, and that's probably why it didn't score as high. But it's probably one of my first one or two if I were to uh, really grade these based upon my initial thoughts as, a, as opposed to scoring everything. You've got the brain of a four-year-old boy, and I bet he was glad to get rid of it. Number two. My number two is The Big Circus. Um, again, it's one that doesn't always stick with me. I don't always remember everything, but since we did see it recently, I think The Big Circus is just really entertaining, and it has a lot of very funny funny parts i think the big circus may i don't remember it specifically but it may have had the part that both of us laughed the loudest and the longest and so i think 
the draw of the big circus is just the entertainment factor is high. Um, so even if it's not iconically Marx Brothers or anything like that, I just it, that one is a is it scores high. And my number two is a day at the races. I think um, if I were to just off the top of my head say which is my favorite, it's that one. It kind of has the storyline quality of a night at the opera, but also the comedy, uh, high level comedy as well. And so that's my number two. Hey, you're crazy. I know one out on Blackjack. Number one. And of course, number one goes to A Night at the Opera. I feel like this is one of their few mu movies that can just hold up with classic movies all around. And I think I was trying to do that from the beginning. They're kind of their own genre at times. And so they don't, you can't really compare them to movies in general all, always. Some of them are kind of low budgety, and so they don't compare to some of those sweeping epic films like Gone with the Wind. Um, but I feel like A Night at the Opera does have more of that kind of panoramic big film feel. Um, and it just, it's very well made and, and the music and everything. And it still holds true to the iconicness of the Marx Brothers within that. So it kind of holds true to that. And it's like a really well-made movie that holds up to classics of its day. So that is my number one. Speaking of A Night at the Opera, uh, that was kind of the movie plot that the movie Brain Donors was sort of copying. Do you remember that movie? And it was more about a ballet, but that was in the 90s, I think. Uh, my number one <clears throat> is The Big Circus, which was is surprising to me. <laughs> when I went into it, I, my memory of it was not good. I, I kind of remembered it being cheesy and, and, and not a good Marx Brothers movie. But when we watched it, I was surprised at how funny it is. And uh, there's some songs in there I don't like, but um, it's probably not my number one favorite movie. If I were to name them off the top of my head, it would probably be more like in the middle somewhere. But, you know, um, we were just kind of going in there without any, maybe we had preconceived notions, but it was based on the mood that we were in at the time and how much we enjoyed it at the time. I wake myself up from nothing to a state of extreme poverty. Now, what do you say? So now we would like to add each movie individually and from chronological order and we will uh, give our total score of each movie combined. <laughs> Why a four-year-old child could understand this report. Run out and find me a four-year-old child. I can't make head or tail out of it. All right. So in case you didn't understand, what we're doing is we're adding each score like her score plus my score of coconuts and then her score plus my score of the next one. So she'll read the score, our total score, which would be the top, the best we could do is a 20. So before the best we could do is a 10 and with both scores combined, the highest would be a 20. So just so you get an idea. So we'll see how each movie scores combined. No, I don't like it. You don't like what? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Well, don't let's break up an old friendship over a thing like that. Ready? Okay. Now, the next part, I don't think you're going to like. Well, your word's good enough for me. Now, then, is my word good enough for you? I should say not. Well, that takes out two more clauses. So, why don't you start it off with Coconuts? Coconuts is an 8.5. Next, we got Animal Crackers with a 13.5. Monkey Business is 14.7. Horse Feathers, 11.1. .1. Duck Soup is 16.5. A Night at the Opera is 18.2. A Day at the Races is 16.3. Room Service is 6.0. Uh, at the Circus is 18.5. Go West is 15.0. The Big Store is 12.0.
A night at Casablanca, or Hotel Casablanca? A night at Casablanca, in Casablanca, is 10.2. And Love Happy is 10.3. And that concludes our Marx Brothers videos. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you at the theater tonight. I'll hold your seat till you get there. After you get there, you're on your own. Hello? I must be going. I cannot stay. I came to say I must be going. I'm glad I came, but just the same, I must be going. Stay a week or two. I'll stay the summer through. But I am telling you, I must be going.